Hello Gemini and welcome to your monthly taroscope. This is for November 2017. If you do need a personal reading with me, then you can visit my website, which is katietarot.com and you can book me there. Gemini, what does the month of November have in store for you? Let's have a look and see what energies need to come through for you. Remember to check out your moon and your rising sign as well for a better understanding of the energies that are around you this month. Gemini. We have the hangman and this is where you are at at the moment and the overarching energy of November for you. So things have been um, not moving as fast as you would like them to. You've been disgruntled about something. I'm feeling that you're feeling frustrated and you're feeling disgruntled about something in your life. This is a general reading, remember, so you have to place the energies in your life where they fit. It's not, it's not going to be the same for everybody. You're, you're being, something's happening to you at the moment and you're feeling frustrated, disgruntled, even a bit angry that this has happened to you. So what is going on here? The magician. Oh, so someone is coming into your life and then leaving again. Or a situation seems to appear to you as though it's good, but actually you've found out that it hasn't been what you wanted to do or where you want to go. So this is why you're feeling frustrated because you thought it was one thing, but it was actually turned out to be something else. And this something else was not to your liking or it wasn't the path that you wanted to go down. So that's what you're dealing with this month, uh, this energy that's coming in. Uh, let's see what your foundation is. We have judgment. OK, so we have um, energy that is quite intense and it's transformational. So you're leaving behind something major in your life, something that was causing you problems, something that made you feel disgruntled and hurt and um, like you couldn't move. So you're leaving that behind. And you have made a decision or a choice between a few things and you're moving forward now. You're moving into harmony and into balance within yourself. And externally, you're not going to want to be around people that are negative, people that are bringing you down vibrationally. Because you're coming into your own and you want people around you that support you. And that is fair enough. So this is where you're coming from. You're coming into November after a big shift, after a big change. And this was major for you. Um, so this could be to do with your love life. Some of you may be leaving or transforming a relationship in a big way. Let's have a look at your immediate past. So the past few weeks we have the King of Wands. You were very determined to get through this though. You weren't going to just be um, placid and let this personal situation take over your life even though they were coming and going it seemed to be one thing but it was another thing the perception was off because of things that they were saying or creating or the perception of other people um you thought other people were a certain way when they weren't because they were creating that illusion for you. Um, something was going on like this, but you were determined to break through that and to, to get to the truth of the matter. And that's really where I see you, Gemini, this month of November. It's really breaking through. And um, that was in the past now because you had this such determination and such drive to really to really break through this and to get where you want to go. And so that's a lot of energy that was expended um, by your part in the near past. So you have had some time out after this big change, this big transformational change, which is for the better. OK, this choice that you've made is definitely for the better for you. Let's have a look at where you are consciously. Five of Pentacles. Well, it might not seem like it was better for you because consciously you're thinking that it wasn't so good and you were feeling you but I feel this is because it was quite hurtful what happened and you're feeling even a little bit isolated a little bit um, just ground down by the whole experience 
And that's not a nice feeling for anybody to go through. So this is where you are consciously. Spirit wants you to know that your guides are always there for you. Spirit is always there. So if you can pull down that energy, that positive energy and lift your vibration up higher, then this would benefit you. Because in reality, you're not really isolated and you're not really um, by yourself because we all have spirit guides and we all have um, spirit around us. So if you can tap into that energy, that's a good thing. This is this is a very positive thing for you because you may be feeling like you have had a loss, had a disappointment um, because you've had to make this choice and you've gone through a shaky time recently. Let's look at the immediate future. So this is going forward through to the end of November and see what's in store for you. We have the Ten of Rods. So I feel that you are moving forward as best you can. You're still feeling like things are kind of down on you a bit and it's kind of way down, but not as much as they have been in the past. So they're starting to lift off. I'm actually feeling for you, Gemini, that instead of these these wands coming down on you and crashing down on you, they're actually lifting off now and you're going to start to push them away. And they're going to come and rise off and you're going to stand up and you're going to be abundant you're going to be in your um really truly who you are and you you would realize at that point that this you know you could always stand up but you're going through this process for a reason so you are learning through this remember but this is coming off this isn't coming down that's what i want to show you here and you're going to stand up soon. And by the end of November, this would have passed. This might still be around you, but this energy of you feeling weighed down like you do at the moment. The five of pentacles energy is one is disappointment, loss and isolation. Know that spirit is with you and that you have access to that. And also the other people around you are there to help people that you might not have um, thought would be uh, receptive to you and, and your troubles and what's going on. Give them a chance because you have been through quite a lot the last few weeks, the last few months even. Gemini, in this area of your life in particular, it has been very shaky. You've had barriers that have come down. You've remodeled this part of your life big time. And so it takes a little while to get up again and to get confident about yourself and to get going again. Um, and to heal so that is coming down the track and this is the start of the process this is where you're at and this is the start of the process because you were so determined to break through because this was not a healthy situation for you you were frustrated you were stuck you didn't want this anymore and you made the choice and the decision to go forward and break through it and to move forward and that might have created some kind of loss. Maybe it was a financial loss. Maybe you thought that the job you were in was no longer suited to you. And it wasn't what you really wanted at a soul level. That could have been the case for you. But now you find yourself that you haven't got as much income. You haven't got as much money coming in. And that's where this feeling of loss and disappointment comes in. You may, be, may even be questioning why you made this decision because you're feeling so low you're feeling like you have really lost out but trust spirit and know that you have made the right choice because you went into this as the king of wands okay you were determined to break through so even though you may be feeling this loss at the moment or this disappointment at the moment know that it's only transitory and that it is not for the long term it is just for now and by the end of the month you're going to be working through this and by the end of the month, all of this pressure is going to be lifted off you. Let's look at the advice card for you for the month. Strength. Okay, Gemini, you need strength. You do have strength. Know that you have strength. You can get through this. You have the fortitude to get through this. You have the confidence to get through this. You really do. And spirit wants to say that to you. It is yelling that to you with this card. You have the strength to get through this difficult time. You have made the right choice for you. And better times are coming. By the end of the month, the weights are going to come off. You're going to be able to stand up and to shine and to be who you are in a new light, in a new way, as a new person, in a new direction. 
That is what is happening for you, Gemini. Big shifts and big changes for the positive. You need to go through this and break things down and change things drastically, which you have done with determination, which does take strength to be determined enough to do this. And you just have this end bit here, which is uh, going through the motions of um, feeling uh, disappointment or grief or loss. Um, just at this point in time, it's only transitory. And then by the end of the month, this is going to start to lift off you. And you do have the strength to get through this. Spirit wants you to know this, Gemini. You have the strength to get through this this month. Whatever it is you are going through. So that is the reading for the month. If you like the reading, then please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye for now.